Hello guys and welcome back. I'm going to do a bit of a little uh, restoration video. So I've got here a 1975 Land Adventure. So uh, this guy just came in. So let me show you what we got going on here. So his head is not attached. And it's pretty rough. It's really rough. It's got some dirt marks, scrape marks, a lot of uh, missing flock all around it. It's pretty dirty too. So we're going to have to address that. Uh, I was hoping that the uh, neck peg would be included and it is. So I got lucky on that. But as you can see the body is completely missing the arms. I don't have them. So we're going to be uh, looking into some options for that. Uh, the torso is beat up. He's got some uh, battle wounds, this guy. He's got some scars across his chest. He's dirty. His leg is backwards here. That should be easy enough to reverse around, but I want to snap the old rubber. So I'll tinker with that. It's very rough. Uh, there's also some chipping on the ankle. Nothing to really worry about there, but worth noting. And then the uh, back of it. Uh, this guy is... He's seen some action, and I'm okay with that. That's pretty cool. Still want to get this guy back into action. I do really like the uh, G.I. Joe muscle bodies. Uh, they're always in very short supply, so they're in high demand. So it's nice to get one every once in a while in uh, for a good price. And I did. I got this guy for a good price, uh, but for good reason. You know, he is not in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and clean them up and see what we could do about uh, getting that leg fixed uh, and uh, sourcing some arms for them. All right. So getting that out of the way, uh, I'm going to go ahead. That's the old perished uh, rubber that would have held the head on originally so this guy has been out of action for many many years so now with the neck peg removed what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk this in alcohol so that's just putting the head in a little uh, cup bowl and adding rubbing alcohol and letting it sit for a day or two okay now uh, focusing on the leg uh, this is actually a little bit more of a problem than I thought it was so it looks like it may have been factory put on backwards as you stretch it open, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty wide. You can't just turn it around. Um, so I think I'm going to have to take this leg apart. Uh, just split it open. And uh, see if I can't correct it that way. Uh, so luckily I was able to kind of get it started. So I'll keep working on that. See if I can crack this leg open and then get this corrected okay so I was able to split the leg apart at the factory seam it didn't mar it up at all either got lucky I was able to separate it so as you can see uh, I was pretty uh, pretty much right on with the fact that you can't just twist this around if you look so what I'm gonna have to do is pull this part off and then flip it to get the leg in the correct orientation uh, so that's uh, pretty easy there and I'll just uh, flip that around and 
like so. So that should be in the uh, correct orientation now. As you can see, be just like the other one. And then I'll just uh, put this leg back on. May have to glue this to secure it. But for now, that takes care of the, uh, the leg issue. So I'll go ahead and start just uh, cleaning them up a bit. Okay, so the head has been all cleaned up. So I try to take my time and make sure I get these as clean as possible. Glue residue and all of that off to start fresh for a new flock. So I'm going to go ahead and reflock this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, neck place uh, neck plug in uh, place. So I just run a uh, a flat elastic through the loop uh, through the neck peg, and I'm gonna go with my uh, traditional. This is the way I've done it for a while, and I'm really happy with this, which is to do a knot over a thick elastic piece as such so what that does is when you pull up tie a knot against this you got double uh, resistance so the knot pulls and this piece pulls against it I'll just uh, tie that off and show you what I'm talking about Okay, so after you tie the flat elastic over the uh, thicker elastic, it pulls it in and you get a really nice uh, firm friction. So that's a really nice fit. And all you do is take a scissor and cut off the excess. And creates that uh, nice clean loop. And you could pop your head on right over that. And that's nice and firm, not going anywhere. Okay, so here is the reflocked head. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, this followed the original lines and it gives it that uh, classic look. It came out pretty nice. I'm not popping it on yet because it is dry, but it's only been dry for a couple of hours. And before I uh, force it onto the uh, peg, I do heat it up with a blow dryer, pop it on. I'm going to give it a little more time to uh, cure before I uh, manhandle it. But uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Okay, so I have come up with a bit of a solution for the missing arms. Of course, we all know that if you're trying to collect uh, vintage martial body Joes, and uh, a lot of times they'll be missing the arms, they're very hard to find and very expensive. So in the meantime, I have found a solution. So this is a blue box figure. Take a look here. That's a blue box. And uh, what I did is I, uh, I took the arm apart and was able to pull the arm off so I'm going to do the same on this one and show you what's going on here it 
it's a uh, it's actually a pretty amazing fit for the uh, the muscle body GI Joe so what you gotta do is take the uh, screw out and it takes a little finesse you gotta basically pull the arm off and out give me a moment okay so let's take a look here so this is the blue box arm and the fit is like perfect it like has tension everything so what's going on here is if you take a look this is what the blue box arm looks like when you take it off of the shoulder joint and it won't quite fit so what I do is I blast it with the blow dryer heats it up just enough and it just pops right in so I'm gonna do that next okay so here is the result so this is the uh, blue box arms attached and you can see the uh, posability is there you got the, the new added swivel uh, the color is not identical but it's not so far off that it's jarring I think that looks pretty good actually so it's just an option in case uh, you don't have the uh, the vintage arms it's one way to solve it get this guy back in action at least temporarily if I can come across some arms I can pop these back off and pop on some vintage arms but as it stands I think that's actually a pretty good look uh, it's, it doesn't have a whole lot of detail in it so it goes with the uh, the vintage look you know it's not hyper uh, muscular but it's thick and it's kind of bulky so uh, shoulders fit I mean the fitment is really impressive so you, know, you don't I don't have any problems with that it's almost as if it was intended to be not that it was it's just uh, luck of the draw so that's it that's blue box uh, articulated arms on a vintage 1975 land adventure uh, it's reflocked and he's back in action his knee has been repaired and been flipped over to be on the correct side so that is it hope that is of some use to you guys all right well that's it that's a uh, option for you guys if you're looking for a, uh, a way to get your armless muscle body land adventure back in action uh, really like the look of it I think it uh, aesthetically is uh, a nice match to the original uh, body again the uh, the detail is very similar and depending on your lighting actually the color is uh, better than uh, I had first thought but it is not a perfect match but it is very close but uh, yeah, you can get them into some pretty uh, cool poses now. So hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the restoration and customization of the G.I. Joe Land Adventure from 1975. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.